Last time on Attack on Titan, our heroes had to take on the Jaegerus in order to gain control of the plane that'll help them make their way to Eren and stop the rumbling. But the forces of Flock, oh, they're old friends of our heroes. That's a hard ass to take down a lot of them. But when those very same former allies are all kill on sight, well, it's either you or them. Well, let's see what happens next. Oh yeah, the transformation. You traitors, why? Aren't we all friends? You are our friends. But I, oof, uh, sinking into the sea. Yeah, I actually had to go to the wiki to see where they were from. And it's like, oh, you have one who was saved by Ymir and Historia during that snowstorm when they were training. And they, frequent appearances. Not to mention the guy that Connie shot was the one that Sasha had saved when the Colossal Titan showed up and did that whole raid. So these are people whose lives were saved previously by the squad. In fact, these are like the last few people from their training regiment who are still alive. Like, they are some of the oldest people that the group knows. That really sucks. That, that's the thing that really sucks. It's just like, oh shit, it's those guys. Like, I remember the scenarios, just not the people. And now having faces to those memories, it's like, oh god. Yeah, no, I, I do not envy Connie or Armin's position. You had to kill some of the oldest and last few people you are actually with. But what other choice did you have? Oof, female titan doing what she does best, and looking good while doing it, and the armor titan. Oof, god. Their bones are jelly by the time they hit the water, too. Ugh. They're holding on pretty strong against all those thunder spears, too. J just now, what did you say? That it usually takes us a whole day to service the boat before it can fly. Ugh. But with the right equipment, we could shave it down to half a day. Half a day? Do you want us to hold off the enemy for that long? They're gonna be throwing reinforcements at us. We're supposed to defend the port when our titans only last a few hours? We'll be too late. The rumbling moves faster than a galloping horse. Plus, they plow through all obstacles. In half a day, they'll raise something like 600 kilometers past the coast. For them to flatten the entire continent will take just four days. Even if all goes goes right and we do stop Aaron, it'll already be too late for Liberia. Oh, we haven't gotten to those flashbacks yet. Damn it. Even if we do get it to fly, we don't know Aaron's location. That'll add more time. It's not like we can defend the port that long to begin with. It's just not. I have an idea. Miss Alza Mabito? South of here, in the Marlian coastal city of Odana, we own a hangar. The flying boat could be serviced there. We could depart at once, towing it behind us, and complete preparation in Odeana, a coastal city. That puts it roughly, isn't it about to be flattened? We could get to Odeana before the rumbling does, but it'll be a gamble if it'll stand for half a day. A gamble. In any case, we won't be taking off from here. Does the ship have coal? Yes, the prep will take 30 minutes. Make it 15. If you die, Hizuru and the world are doomed. Stay sharp. I'll get Captain and the others. I'll let Mikasa know. <sighs> God, I, I don't remember feeling the tension like that in the manga. Like, I guess it just wasn't dawning on me how little time they actually had. But yeah, fuck. Episode 86, Retrospective. Oof. Oh, damn. <laughs> and backed up by friggin' Mikasa. Change of plans. We're leaving to service the boat on the mainland. On the mainland? Help them board it. Go, go! And Mikasa helping out the strongest titans out there? Jeez. That flock is still alive. It's on some Mabito mechanics. Kill him! Yeah, Mikasa ain't having that shit. Hoji! You damn traitors. Man, Flock just keeps living. Where are the Azumabita going? What could be worth the risk? You don't think. You're the one thinking here, man. Right there. Oh, Jesus! Eat this. Damn. My God, that's a hell of a shot. Oh, man. Some of these shots are amazing. Forget the female titan. Get the Azumabita. Jeez. Whole ass arm. Stand up. We're nearly to the ship. Out of the way. Oof, to the face. Shoot, are they seriously going to service it to the mainland? Service it on the mainland. Bring all the Thunder Spears. 
They're taking the ship to kill Aaron. We gotta sink it at all costs. If Aaron dies, paradise will drown in a sea of blood. The world we seek revenge. The world will seek revenge and butcher your parents, siblings, and children. Give your heart. Part Titan. You're kidding, huh? They're aiming for the boat. At this rate, those two won't last till it's ready. Oof. They gotta fight too. I can use the Jaws power. Bad idea. The first transformation never goes well. But if this goes on, leave it to me. After I get you guys to the ship, I'll join the fight. If only Gilliard was here instead of me. He wouldn't sit around worrying about what to do. Oh god. Falco, wait. Nope. I've gotta get you to the ship. Get in. Hurry. And light the boiler. Connie. He's hitting the chest. The face. But it'll heal up soon. Can you? I'll guard the ship. Commander Magath. Falco has. Load it up. Load it up. Reinforcements. Unless we do something about him, we'll be dying instead of leaving. Ba -ba -ba bam The whole train of reinforcements was taken out. Oof. Oh, God. What are you doing, Falco? Get on the ship. Right. Oh. My body won't move. I can't see a thing. Finish him off. Yo, Cody! Damn. Damn, Cody! Damn! Die, you traitor. Damn. Hesitate, and we'll never stop the rumbling. Flock, and then we'll take down the traitors with our ODM gear. Nail the cart with th thunder spears. Attack together. Oh god, oh god, oh god. We're crying out loud. Uh, they're outnumbered. Defend our island to the death. Our country. Did he finally do it? The Falcon. Bam! See, that looks so much cooler than in the manga. No, they broke formation. It's now, or never. Kill Falco, go! What you gonna do, Flock? Damn. Shit. Whoa, man. This animation is insane. Yo. I don't like Flock, but damn. It all comes down to this. If I could put a hole in the hole. Yeah, he has, just has to damage the boat. And he's won. The one who will save LD as me. Oof. Shit. Gabby. <laughs> Gabby don't miss. Gabby don't miss. God damn. Yeah, and this is why they were the highest ranking of the survey of the training course. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. This is like so much more brutal! Damn, Mikasa! Oh my god! Jesus Christ, I don't remember this being so brutal! Yeah, no, I know that's right. Fucking run! Fucking run! You don't see someone do all of that and stay to fight! I'm like, you know what? Nah, I'm good! Nah, I need let's go before they decide to come back. Ooh, uh, Falca? Uh, buddy, I need you to calm down. Falco, the enemies are gone. Come out. Ah, uh, jeez. Peek, hold Falco still. Okay, all right now. Falco, you did well. You created the opportunity for them to get away, dude. You did good. Oh, jeez, there's so much blood in the water. I thought that was like a visual mistake with the... Um, when Flock's Thunder Spear hit the water, but no, no, it's just all the blood in the water. Like, holy shit, there's so much blood in the water. <laughs> that was insane. Take him. Sure, leave at once. Huh? What about you? I'll hold the rear. <sighs> Commander brought Falco back. Yeah, that was a close call. So, where's Commander McGath? It's General now. It's the enemy. Not all of them left. Oh, Shadis! Oh, he was the one who was watching. That's right. Are you the one who took out the reinforcements? That's right. Why didn't you board the ship? That there's a captured Marley cruiser. It's fast enough to catch their ship and sink it. So I can't just leave it here. I'll give you a hand. Here they come. I don't care. I'm lighting up the magazine. Now it's your last chance to take a swim. No thanks. I've been looking for a good time to die. Why did you side with us? It might be the island's downfall. I saw some old students of mine heading south out of Shiganshina with Annie Leonhardt. And when I realized their plan, my heart was moved by how much they'd grown. If you hadn't stopped those reinforcements, we'd have been goners. You'll soon be known as one of the heroes who saved the world. Then... 
That makes two of us. I refuse to pat myself on the back. Ignoring my conscience, I ordered around children to serve the country's interests and commanded them to destroy the wall. But I finally realized if those kids could live normal lives, how happy that would make me. Well, you might not pat yourself on the back, but I'm proud of you. Open up. Hey, open this door. What are you doing? Open it. Open it, damn it. I'm sure those kids would agree. Thank you. By the way, what's your name? Keith Shaddis. And you? Theo Mega. <sighs> Shit. Oh, man. Damn. Oh, that was damn good. Oh, I knew what was happening at Jesus. I knew what was happening in the manga, too. Just, oh, that moment. The anime, the anime knocked it out of the park with that one. God, the anime killed it with this in general. Just everything that happened here. Like, even knowing what was going on, what was happening, just, oh, they killed it. Like, props to the animation team, the director. Like, oh. And the sound design. Just knowing when to just silence was the best way to go. Ugh. You know, it's funny too. Despite everything that we saw with McGath, I never hated the character. It, he was always a character who just did his job. Same thing with Shadis. Like, they were these instructors who had seen so much shit. And they tried to justify a lot of their wrongdoing. But when it came down to it, damn. The strength of their characters really shined at the end. Ugh, holy shit. I think there's something at the end that I'm missing. We decided with Megath to head for Odia. Rather, we had no other choice. There's nothing we can do to save your hometown, Liberia. If that's true, my entire reason for fighting is gone. I'm getting off the ship. Even if the rumbling stops in its tracks, Liberia and Marley's destruction was inevitable. Regath understood that, but he gave his life so we could push ahead. He didn't do it for Liberia or Marley. He did it in trusting us to save people whose names he'd never known. In that case, I'll ask you again. Can you kill Aaron? If I try to kill Aaron, can you stand by and walk? I'm sick of killing each other. I don't want to fight with you anymore. Not you guys. Not even Aaron. <sighs> I, I don't blame any. Like, you never really... Because we were constantly seeing things from the other side, you never realized how much of a toll it really took on a lot of them. But, you know, I always forget that Eddie's breakdown when she was discovered, when it all just came out, like, she was just tired of putting up the facade. And she just wanted to do her damnedest to live. That's all it really came down to. Oh, man. So, yeah. And in the end, they're still young. They're still young as hell. The preview. The things seek the things seen that day and things they talked about the choices made that day everything had been willed by him the next episode the dawn of humanity Oof. make Aaron sound like a friggin demon <laughs> maybe he is at this point this episode really highlighted the fact that you have the Jaegerists who of course I don't agree with what they're doing but at the same time it comes from a place of fear. A fear that even Flock kind of stoked. Like, you do this or else your family dies. Everyone you know dies. And that's the fear. The fear that if we don't do this, everyone we know dies. It's everything that they'd always been fighting to help and protect. You know, all the cores, that was always what they were fighting for. Nothing has really changed in terms of how they operated. It's just now that there's more than just titans to fight, which was the high, the big selling point of the whole rebellion against the walls and the king of the walls and stuff like that in season three. It's just like, you know, we're fighting against humans now. You know, you, you did all this to fight against titans and all this, these mindless beasts of destruction. But no, you were always fighting against humans, even when you didn't know it. And the reason why the people of the walls have always fight has always come from a place of fear. A want of safety, a want for protection. You know, they're fighting in the hope that their home and their families and their families' families will be protected. I can't dismiss that, but you have... The squad we're following, and it's just like, we're fighting to protect so much more. The sacrifice of millions. Like, no, that's wrong in the end. <sighs> it's just some really hard concept. And I know Isayama has some shaky viewpoints that I don't re completely agree with and follow, but uh, the things he tries to get across here are just phenomenal. Just phenomenally written. And I know people have issues with how all of this comes to a conclusion, but... 
He was a realist about things in the end. When all is said and done, when you get to the conclusion, it's not a happy one. It's just an optimistic one. And even though we see that that optimism doesn't really pay off in the way we wish it did, it pays off in a way that is the best you can really ask for. But hey, that's not a hand or there. Tell me your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below. Were you blown away by some of the most? The spectacular animation, sound work, just ugh. What was your favorite part? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe or don't. I ain't your daddy, but I still love you like one. And until next time, I've been Dizzin, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.